Alright, so I just recently bought a new action camera. When I move overseas, I like to make lots of videos other than just review videos here. I have a few other YouTube channels I deal with, but um, with buying my new action camera, which was the DJ, uh, DJI Action Osmo 4, I realized, you know, I need another carrying case because the camera I'm using now, my Sony ZV-1, I have a case just for that. Everything I like to have, like, compartmentalized. So when I hop on a plane with my backpack, um, everything is easy to take out, put through security, you know, they want it all separate. I carry all my electronics together. So having things in cases just makes it nice and organized. And while buying a case, I also like to think of how it will fit in a backpack when I'm traveling or going about my daily day. So looking through Google, like Google DJI Osmo Action 4 carrying case, carrying bag, um, there was a few things I saw. I saw some soft bags. I saw some a lot of square ones that were compartmentalized on uh, Amazon and other places. But then when I went on DJI's website, the DJ Canadian website isn't the greatest. So just looking through the accessories and stuff on the American website, um, I saw that they had the official case and I decided I had to go get it. So funny story thing, the first thing I did is I ordered it on Amazon because that's the only place I could find it. The DJI site is restocking it. It's not available at the moment. Should be soon. Just like the cameras, getting the camera itself, that was another story. It took me about a month and a half, two months because they're all back ordered and there should be some available now if you're looking. But anyways, for the case, um, I ordered it on Amazon. There was one left. Package shows up as a picture for my Amazon order, but the package just isn't there. It's not in front of the house. Either we had some porch pirates or I don't know, something else went on. Um, my computer mouse I ordered and this bag was supposed to be in that, so I couldn't get it. So then I decided to go looking around all my local camera shops and luckily one of them did have one left in stock. So no further ado, I'm talking way too much. Here's the bag that I ended up getting, the official, see, that's upside down, the DJI. What's it called? Action Carrying Bag. Either Carrying Case or Carrying Bag, I'm pretty sure, but the title will be the actual name, I'll get it right there. Um, pretty cool. Now the main thing I liked about this bag is the size, you can see, it's just a little bit bigger than the size of your hand. Um, and it's a rectangular bag, where all the other ones were about the same length, but were more of a square. Or maybe they were, you know, three inches or so smaller, but then it would come up this way. And I just feel that this slipping into a backpack or just taking it along with me in my sling bag or anything, if I wanted to do so, this just, I don't know, it's a good size and it fits better. Now when you look at the bag itself, I keep putting it upside down. You have, you know, a nice thing to hold it here. Maybe you could put a carabiner here and attach it to something. I'm gonna have it in my bag always. You have a zipper here, which it's a quick access area, but the design of the bag is, I don't know, a little questionable. So in hides here, you have like a few pockets. It's hard to really show you guys. Let me flash some light here and try to get some inside. You'll see when I open it a further bit more, but yeah, so let me close this part up. The main thing I liked is when you see when you open here, you got some nice zippers with the DJI logo on them. Gonna unzip it so it zips around the back this way and then opens up. So, like you can see, that was the pockets where the zipper is right there. Um, the design is a little weird. I may end up cutting these out, these slots out. Might get a knife or scissors and take it to it, take out the seams and have it. Um, the one thing that isn't the greatest is that it's open to the side, so it's not solid. I really would have liked it if this was sewn in to this bottom part here, so, you know, if I put anything else, it could fall out here. I'm probably just being nitpicky. Once again, have a look. I have uh, the One Piece magnetic attachments from the DJI camera and that mount there in here, because I have not yet used that. Um, and then the main thing is how the compartment at the bottom looks so it's pretty good there you see you have the slot where you have the camera in itself and in the cage it fits in the cage quite fine you probably need the cage to be on it for it to fit snugly you have the battery pack 
And I guess uh, you guys can see that when I got the DJI Action Osmo 4, I got the Adventure uh, Pack. That's what I really wanted. Just so I got all those extra batteries for filming, um, the camera itself, and then the pole. Now my one issue about the pole, as you guys don't see right now, you see I take this off. When I had this piece attached, it didn't necessarily fit in here correctly. The way that it's cut out, it doesn't necessarily fit. I'll show you, give me one second, let me attach this, we'll get to it. Quick overhead view, you can see if I tried to push it in there, this part just doesn't line up correctly. See, it's not, I don't know, the cutout isn't perfect. So, is it the best? You can, you can force it in like that, and there you see. But that's not really the fit. As you can see, there's a gap right there. The spacing, the spacing could be better. All right, so quick look again. I love how this stuff fits in perfectly. It's all slotted in. It just, it hurts that this part doesn't necessarily, has not necessarily been cut out perfectly. However, everything else about the bag is pretty good. I do have a feeling that I'm going to modify it somehow, just like people do with their backpacks or anything, to make it more useful to themselves, uh, especially when I go out on my adventures and doing some filming and shooting. Um, yeah, uh, we'll see. And Anyways, the main reason I got it is just because of the shape of it um, and the compartment, and I wanted something for storage. So when I'm at home and I'm not using the camera, this is just a nice thing to tuck away, put in my office, and, uh, I don't know, ergonomics, right? Anyways, that's a review today. More bag reviews, fashion reviews, all that type of stuff to come. Like, comment, subscribe. Take it easy. Oh yeah, and last note guys, I might not be uploading as much as normal as I am planning my move overseas. Um, but come January, February, I should have a ton of news, a ton of more stuff coming. So, thank you for watching, thank you for supporting and all this. We're on the road to a thousand, almost there, right? Uh, anyways, now is the actual time to say goodbye. Thanks guys, till next time. Take it easy.